The clouds are closing in, the sun is beginning to set, and we are beginning the fourth quarter live from Candlestick Park, the NFC Championship game. Niners lead it by a field goal, but the roadside team has been battling all game long. First and 10 from the 30-yard line, give is to Gore, left side across the 30, and taken down after a three-yard gallop, Dave Dorson. We had a family issues with him, recently passed away. A very unfortunate sight for the Chicago Bears, but defensively has been a force in today's game as this Bears team, outside of a few long touchdowns, have kept things pretty silent for one of the top teams offensively in the DSFL. Second down and eight from the 33-yard line. Man in motion, that's Joe Perry to this fullback position. Tosses to Gore, and he's taken down behind the line. Boy, one of the more impressive tackling defensive secondaries in the entire NFL. Uh, the Chicago Bears have a couple of dynamic cornerbacks that can not only play man and zone, but can also pressure the running back as he just speeds past the fullback. That was Charles Tillman that time. That leads to a third down and 12 situation. We're waning into the six-minute mark of the fourth quarter. And boy, this is a huge third down. They're only leading by a field goal. They go to two tight ends as well. Boy, this would help the Niners help choose some clock. Gore on a cutback, taken down following a big stiff arm. And he is taken down well short of the first down. Seven yard carry when they needed 12 yards for the first down. And a head scratching decision to run the football there. Third down and 12. Sure, it's a field goal contest, but Bill Walsh, not really known for playing things as conservative as that call there. That leads to a punting situation, and Andy Lee is set to kick it away back deep to receive is the ever-electric Devin Hester at the 15-yard line. Out to the 20, 25, stiff arm to the 30. And taken down actually short of the 30-yard line, the 28-yard line. That was a terrific 13-yard return and just shows the kind of electric return ability of a guy like Devin Hester. There was no blocking really at all to help out Hester, but he was still able to get some nice field position off of a couple bro uh, broken tackles there. First and 10, Luckman to throw. Slings it to the right side, has his man, Johnny Knox, breaks a tackle, but he is down on the field. Uh, he's short of the first down by inches, but the trainers look to be onto the field, and there they are. Johnny Knox looks like it's an upper body injury. We'll take a look at the instant replay in just a moment here. Johnny Knox, following a nine-yard reception, takes a beheading hit. Boy, we'll look to see who was there for the tackle. Dion obviously missing another tackle. That's been big in today's game. He has been so quiet in today's contest, making big-time mistakes. There was another broken tackle, one missed by Dion Sanders, and that was his question coming into this game, his poor tackling ability. Second and inches upcoming. Luckman to throw, has a clean pocket, still on his feet, and throws it deep down the field. Johnny Morris is there for the grab, and a huge first down, and I mean ginormous moving of the chains, a 35-yard gallop through the air. Luckman just had all day to throw as well. Boy, where was the Niners' pass rushing unit there? And Deion Sanders, where were you in pass coverage, buddy? That one a terrible read of the football. Deion Sanders just letting a huge play go by. And barring a huge miscue, the Bears are already in game time field goal territory. First and 10. Back to throw. Luckman, loft pass incomplete. That one will lead to a second down and 10. Walter Payton, the intended receiver. But boy, what a huge pickup through the air. The Chicago Bears, boy, we talk about two different passing offenses. Chicago in the bottom half at passing the football. Meanwhile, San Francisco top five in that category. Oh, Luckman is just having all day to throw. Now, that's been a huge issue for San Francisco, one of the top sacking teams in the entire NFL, actually second to the Indianapolis Colts. Second down and 10, Luckman to throw. Underneath, complete Willie Galt and has room to run across the first down. And he is engineering a fine day. That is Willie Galt over 100 yards receiving to this point today. And Deion Sanders, boy, was he in coverage again? No, that was uh, Ronnie Lott there, unable to uh, get past 
Willie Galt with a scot-free receiver right over the middle of the field. San Francisco defensively is reeling. And boy, they've gotten no help from their offense in the entire second half. Hands on their hips. This defense is getting tired. It's first and 10. High formation with Walter Payton. The give across the 10-yard line, a wide open hole. Was not even touched until five yards down the field. A seven yard carry. Offensively, Chicago has been so dominant, especially following a huge return by Devin Hester. Deion Sanders has been burned all game long. And also, when he gets a chance to make a tackle, he hasn't done so. And then, most recently, Walter Payton galloping inside the 10. Boy, this Niners team is tired. And Walter Payton taking advantage with 61 yards on the ground. Second down and three. Man in motion, that's for Nagurski back to throw. Luckman looking to the end zone, incomplete. Off the fingertips of Ronnie Locke. And that was a huge break for Chicago. Luckman trying to fit one deep over the top of Lott, who jumps to make the, a would-be reception for the INT there. But boy, this San Francisco defense, I mentioned just a little bit ago, is tired. Chicago right before halftime, a nice drive to make it 14 to 12, and then they open up with another long drive. San Francisco answers in a few plays, and Chicago another long drive here, third and three. Hand off to Walter Payton, short of the first down by a yard or two. Charles Haley with his second tackle. Gail Sayers was the man short of the first down marker. That one a huge third down. A run short of the first down. San Francisco holds on defense and forces Chicago to settle for a field goal. But this one still will force the Niners to make some sort of an offensive rhythm for overtime or to win the game on their end. There's still plenty of time remaining for the San Francisco 49ers. Two minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And this game is tied. San Francisco 21 Chicago Bears 21. You've been watching the NFL on Fox. Boy, the San Francisco 49ers for one of the few times seemingly the entire second half will have a chance to receive the ball and have a chance offensively to create some sort of rhythm. Kickoff is taken from deep in the end zone by Deion Sanders out to the 10. 15 and taken down at the 22 yard line. Just falls down to the floor across the 20 and Deion Sanders a very subpar effort in today's contest but will be looking for some sort of rhythm from the sidelines now he has had a terrible game in pass coverage and in returning so far in today's effort first and ten two tight ends left there's a toss to that side finds blocks across the 25 and takes a hard hit at the 26 yard line Charles Tillman with another tackle there four yard gallop Leads to a second down. We take a look at a very impressive run by Frank Gore, breaking several would-be tacklers. That was three counted on that play alone. Frank Gore doing everything he can, he can following that fumble to create some sort of rushing uh, moves here. And he is going to have to have some uh, good yards on the ground if they hope to run down this clock. Second down and six, Montana the throw. Quick pass, Jerry Rice, first down and more and taken down near the midfield stripe. We've reached the two minute warning. And what a huge pickup through the air. Now the Niners have a question here. Offensively, is running the football in today's formula or do they need to throw it through the air? The Niners uh, are one score away seemingly from a trip to the Dream Bowl too, but you don't want to give time to Chicago. What to do offensively, Jerry Rice Seemingly kick-starting a drive here with a huge first down through the air. Jerry Rice with his third catch. He is near 100 yards and also has one touchdown today. First and 10 with three receivers. Eye formation. Back to throw. Montana looking. Rolls to the right. Has a lane. Fires deep. That one incomplete. Nearly intercepted, intended for Terrell Owens. That one leads to a second and 10 and a huge break for Montana. Boy, we talked about Luckman nearly getting picked off in the end zone. With under two minutes to play, the Bears have been rolling offensively. Uh, what about a interception near the midfield strike for San Francisco? That one would have been huge. Boy, a lucky drop there for San Francisco. 
If I were the coach, I would elect to run the football here. Second and 10, they have a passing formation with three receivers back to throw. Montana nearly getting sacked, rolls backwards and throws incomplete for the first down. John Taylor with a huge catch, moving the chains. Montana on a low snap, looking underneath pass complete. Frank Gore slips a tackle and taken down after a two yard loss. And the clock keeps moving. We're down to 129 to play. 128 Montana looking. Loft over the middle. And that one incomplete. Off the hands of Charles Tillman, the Bears defender. And in a tie game, Joe Nendy warming up on the sidelines. But he may not even get a chance here. This one a long third down attempt. But we talk about a huge play here. Montana just falling back to the floor. Uh, makes a terrific throw and John Taylor with a terrific catch uh, leaping up over the smaller Charles Tillman for the football there third down and 12 they need the 38 yard line for a first bunch receivers to the right Montana looking throws the first down but it's out of bounds incomplete intended for Jerry Rice and that one just if you're a receiver no chance there you, you can't throw it that far out of bounds and hope for your receiver to make a as tough of a catch as you made it there. Jerry Rice just unable to tap any feet in bounds. That one leads to a fourth down and punting situation. Huge break for Chicago. They don't need to burn any timeouts or any time on the clock. Fourth and 12, a huge pick that will go through the end zone. Devin Hester watches that ball seal through the back of the end zone. That will be a touchback in Luckman tie game what you hope for if you're an all-star quarterback 75 seconds and three timeouts as the Bears are tied in the NFC championship game a dream situation here Luckman fires deep Johnny Morris has a step across the 40 and taken down by a pursuing Deion Sanders and what a terrible effort and just flat out pathetic excuse for a pass coverage there as Deion Sanders uh, by several steps getting burned by Johnny Morris down the sideline. Was there any surprise that Chicago was going deep in that situation? Boy, it, it's just, it's been a marvel how pathetic Deion Sanders has performed in today's game. First and 10. Luckman with two tight ends. Walter Payton in the single back. Handoff across the 35. Taken down at the 31 yard line. Second charge timeout to San Francisco in today's game. That one before a second and six situation upcoming for Chicago and for the Bears. They're on the fringe of field goal range, but you just hope to end the game here. You don't want to force overtime. Anything could happen in an extra period. And with the winner moving on to the dream ball, just a questionable call if they don't elect to go uh, for more yards and a field goal here. Second and six from their own 31 yard line, left hatch, handoff. Walter Payton, a gashing hole right up the middle. First down and more. And we take a look at Walter Payton in today's game and just a fantastic effort on the ground for Chicago. Starting with that dominant offensive line, but San Francisco really needs to uh, buckle down here defensively if they hope Walter Payton doesn't gash for another huge game. Now they are on the fringe of easy makeable field goal range at the 20 yard line. Handoff. Walter Payton cuts to the left side, and that one a strong defensive play by a uh, more overlooked linebacker this season in Ken Norton Jr., second and 10. Back to a tight end, and Walter Payton hoping to seal this game and move the Bears to the Dream Bowl. This one a four-yard gallop, and San Francisco will burn their final timeout. Walter Payton, nearly 100 yards on the ground. He has been a fantastic contributor to a Bears offense that is one field goal away from a trip back to the Dream Bowl two to take on the Oakland Raiders. Handoff, Gil Sayers, slip arm, and he has the first down, and Chicago will move on to the Dream Bowl two, barring a field goal attempt, which seems to be more like an extra point try Gail Sayers, with one first down, helped the Bears move past the Packers last weekend. And on second and goal, Robbie Gold for the win. Snap, ball down, and the Bears are going to the Dream Bowl too. 
24 to 21 victors as red zone woes and a dominant offense on the other side. They're able to get past all of that here on the road and are one win away from the championship again.